Hey guys, my name is Lee. We're in the house of Lee in the Morayfield Megastore and on today's episode, I'll be showing you what I would be taking along to an open FPS field or an outdoor style gameplay with open FPS. Let's jump straight into this video. So let's jump straight into it guys. Let's have a closer look at the style of blaster that I would take to an open FPS field. Uh, this blaster here I've named Big Red uh, due to a couple of red little accents there and the fact that it's actually quite large for one of my style of blaster setups. Most of mine actually are quite short so this one here is about as long as I like to go. Uh, but let's pick it up and we'll basically go from tip to butt and show you and explain to you what I'm running on my high FPS uh, blaster. So at the front end guys, I've got a Primal Tech uh, amplifier that covers my hop up. Internally, it's running a DKJ8 hop up. Uh, in a barrel wise, I'm running a Primal Tech Armory barrel. Uh, it is one of my tight bore barrels. Uh, the length of this barrel is sitting at that uh, 330 millimeters. So it's not super long in length. Um, it does have a standard SLR style knurled outer barrel uh, in metal. Uh, the front handguard is an SLR nylon handguard, 10 inch. Uh, it does have your front hand stop and side covers, uh, rail protector in nylon. Uh, we do have a TLR1 uh, flashlight on the top. Moving rearwards, we do have an Aimpoint solar panel uh, style light. Uh, this, these uh, optics are ex excellent for outdoor field uh, gameplay. If you're playing in the sun, you don't have to actually turn the, the sight on. So you can save your batteries there. So they're pretty cool for that. Uh, moving rearwards, guys, there is a uh, iron sight on the rear. This is a uh, Magpul M-Bus style iron sight. Just the standard style sight you're going to get with your SLR. Uh, keep moving to the rear metal buffer tube uh, this is an APS style stock uh, these stocks are excellent uh, you can actually fit uh, your little brick batteries in the rear if I can just pop this one off this is, it's gonna need to flip it up sorry guys there you go so you can see in the rear there you can actually sit a little brick battery in there clip that one back on uh, it's very handy I run a 1300 lipo in here uh, just sits in there nicely you can also fit your 1500 Osgel little bricks in there as well so excellent stock for that if you're looking to run yourself a little lipo brick tucked away nice and neat not strapped out to the externals um, going back forwards again guys we'll go back to the receiver so the upper and lower of the receiver is just your nylon style SLR uh, moving down, uh, we've got your amoeba style hand grip in nylon. Uh, we do have some of the uh, retro arms uh, accessories here with your mag release, uh, your little uh, selector cover there, and also a uh, retro arms trigger uh, down the bottom as well, internally fitted to the gearbox. Um, charging handle is just your plastic style one, just standard uh, for lighter weight for myself I wasn't too worried about going metal um, internally wise we've got your red uh, anodized outdoor v2 style t-piece uh, mk uh, billet gearbox uh, this one is running a stainless 100% uh, cylinder it's running a red shs style cylinder head with the 6 mil style nozzle setup uh, spring wise in this one is an asg 135 uh, piston is an SHS, uh, piston head is also an SHS. Uh, it is running uh, SHS low profile bushes. Uh, gear set in this blaster is 13 to 1 SHS. Um, Leviathan MOSFET is a must for any of my V2 blasters, I love them. Uh, fully programmable everything and you also get your shot counter and yeah, anything they can handle it, they're excellent. Uh, 
Motor wise in this setup is a 30K boost motor. So 30K 480 long boost motor. Uh, excellent motors, one of my favorites. Uh, those along with the 18K from ASG, two of the best motors out there, in my opinion. Um, other than that guys, uh, this blaster is shooting uh, 400 plus FPS. Uh, it will average around the 430s at around 34 RPS. Uh, we will take it to the range and shoot it and just show you what it's actually doing. But in short guys, that is the style of blaster that if you invited me to an open FPS field, no matter if it's CQB, outdoor, wherever it is, if it's open FPS, this is the blaster I'll be bringing along. A lot of guys do think that once you go over 300 FPS, you cannot actually make the blaster accurate anymore. Uh, hashtag for myself, I don't believe that. I think some of the best blasters that I own, actually some of my highest FPS blasters. So I think you do need to spend a little bit more time playing around with your barrels, your gels, and your hop-up setup. But otherwise, again, that's just from myself of what I've found, but these, this blaster here is definitely a go-to for myself. Um, yeah, excellent, excellent blaster. Now guys, with the ratings, uh, usually we rate all of our blasters over four different categories. Uh, we usually give a rating out of 10. Uh, for this setup here, we're not gonna bother with that. Uh, as I built this blaster for myself, I'm going to rate it 10 out of 10 over every different category, as I am a bit biased, so. <laughs> That's, um, yeah, we'll leave that one out. Big Red, let's put this one through the crano. So if you are watching this video, guys, you are more than likely on YouTube. So please like, subscribe, hit the bell, make sure you get all of the notifications. If you would like to see something else, please leave your comment below. If you don't like the video, double dislike, as we always say, double tap that dislike button. Now guys, we're also on Instagram, uh, Facebook, and TikTok. So if you'd like to check out any of those platforms as well, feel free, we're on there. Uh, guys, we do have 17 brick and mortar stores. If you can't get into any of our shops in person, we do have m4a1gelblaster.com. Everything over $30 is free shipping, so don't miss out on that. Other than that, guys, stop and think. Whenever it comes to gel blasters, make sure you're traveling to and from your house, your field, wherever, in a positive manner. Uh, yeah, we won't harp on. Please stop and think. Other than that, make sure you're charging your batteries in a lipo-friendly bag or a lipo-safe bag. We don't want to see you guys uh, burning down your house. Always remember your eye protection as well whenever you're playing with your gel blasters. Make sure you're safe. So my name is Lee. We're in the house of Lee at the Morrowfield Megastore. Thanks for tuning in to this uh, special on my open FPS style blaster setup. Hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you on the next one.